Well, at most Neesmith Smith Chevrolet Duralay Bottle Series, the guy that wins the race gets the most attention, but something special happened here tonight on night two of NASCAR Talladega weekend here at Talladega Short Track. And this young man to my right, 12-year-old Tyler Clem, had this place electric tonight. Took the lead on lap number 22, and again on lap number 24, you led a total of 27 laps. And my friend, you had two two-time Neesmith Chevrolet Duralay Model Series national champions racing with you on both sides of you for the lead. You did an awesome job. You came home fourth, but everybody left here tonight knowing your name. This is 12-year-old, again, I'll say it again, 12-year-old Tyler Clem. Has it sunk in yet? Definitely. You know, I just uh, had a great car tonight. You know, after I led the uh, first lap there, I'm like, wow, I just led a lap in the Neesmith Series. And, you know, I had a great car, and after the that last that last caution there, I, uh, the car got too too loose on me. I just just couldn't do anything. So, you know, congrats to Ronnie on the win, and uh, just uh, had to do it next time. Tyler, you had the poise out there, and and you had the ability. You looked like a seasoned veteran out there because those were two heavy hitters behind you, and you seemed to be able to put your race car where it needed to be to keep them from passing you. I mean, was that just trying to be consistent and hitting your marks, or were you trying to make the car wide? Well, I mean, most of the time I had you no know, Ronnie or Eric right under me, and I, I saw this little brown patch right in the middle of the racetrack on both sides, and I was trying to get the right rear on that, you know, try to save it up a little bit, you know. And, uh, I mean, I just can't believe I was racing with Ronnie Johnson, and uh, he, uh, unfortunately, he, he got by me, but, you know, uh, just a... Uh, Wow, it's amazing. Did you learn a lot tonight racing with those guys? Definitely, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, when I we go back to my dad's track in uh, November, hopefully, uh, you know, we can uh, try to win that big 10,000 win race. <laughs> and there's a lot of races between now and then in uh, November. And, uh, of course, our friends at Sunoco Race Fuels, the uh, official race fuel, the Neesmith Smith Chevrolet, Dirt Laid Model Series have a, a new point fund for guys just like you, for drivers, uh, 18 years of age and younger. They call it the Sunoco Young Gun Challenge Series, and uh, you're right up there battling for that championship. That's going to pay a thousand dollars at the end of the year and pay back 10 spots for you and and drivers, teenage drivers uh, that you're racing against with that. What do you think about that? It's pretty cool that you know, they get involved with the the series and you know, with the drivers and like that. And I think I was uh, coming into this weekend, I was third in the points. You know, I'm not sure what it is now, but. Hopefully, uh, I'll be leading after this weekend. Well, you're battling with 13-year-old Cruz Skinner and 15-year-old Brian Marsh that was here last night. And uh, you might have to come hit some of those weekly racing series events, too, and, and hit some of these national events. What's your plans for the rest of the year? I'm not quite sure. I think we might um, run some summer national super racing. I'm not quite sure. You know, uh, hopefully we can make it up to one of your big races, whatever it's at. But... Uh, you know, I just uh, can't thank everybody enough on the car you know, that uh, I couldn't do without them. Well, you're a Tony Stewart uh, racing developmental driver. And like Smoke, you run a lot of different race cars. You've got uh, uh, two sprint car, winged outlaw sprint cars, a 410 and a 360. you got a super late model that you run with the, the big unlimited engine. And you've got your Neesmith late model. Do you have a favorite? Right now, it's probably the late model because I've had more time, more experience in them and uh, I've won more in, in the uh, late model than I have the sprint car. But the sprint car, you know, it's uh, what pays the bills. You know, that's what gets you to the NASCAR, they say. And, um, I mean, they're both really fun to drive, but right now I just have to pick the late model. Well, we're glad to have you racing with us with the Neesmith Smith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series. There was a lot of people in those stands tonight that had never seen a Dirt Late Model race before that came from across the street. And I think that they all became Tyler Clem fans tonight. You got a bigger ovation than Ronnie Johnson did out there. How did that feel? It felt great. You know, I just uh, just can't believe that so many, so many fans came out. You know, to watch this that race and uh, just amazing how many fans that you know came to came to see me <laughs> and cheered me on and everything. You know, I just can't think of enough. You know, if they wouldn't be here, probably we wouldn't even be here either. I just can't think of enough for being here. Well, again, Tyler, thank you for being here and putting on a show tonight and entertaining those people because you gave them something that they left here tonight that they'll never forget and something that a lot of us will never forget. 
Great job tonight, young man. Tyler Clem finished in fourth, led 27 laps, and held off Ronnie Johnson and Eric Cooley. Lap after lap, did a great job tonight. Remember this young man's name, Tyler Clem. You're going to be hearing a lot more about him in the future, not just with the Neesmith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series, but in even higher forms of racing.